Europeans have a common currency, the euro. 18 countries out of 28 adopted it. One German euro equals one Latvian euro, but one euro in Berlin is worth less than one euro in Riga. On average, Europeans earn 1,424 euros a month, but some have a bigger wallet than others. It's in Sweden that salaries are highest, on average. A citizen of this Viking nation earns 2,436 euros per month, whereas in Romania, the average income is 175 euros. A Swede earns more in a month than a Romanian in a year. Are some Europeans more than 12 times richer than others? Let's take concrete examples in Europe. The price of cigarettes. Prices are clearly not the same. A pack can cost up to five times more in different cities. In Lithuania, a pack is only 2 euros. In the UK, 10 euros 30 cents. However, in order to buy enough to tar up their lungs, a Lithuanian and Brit must work 1 hour and 15 minutes on average. So in reality, a Lithuanian and a Brit both have the same purchase power for some products. Another example, gas prices. Prices also vary across the continent. The same tank will cost 58 euros 50 cents in Sofia, but 88 euros 50 cents in Rome. Bulgarians seem lucky, and we now know why Italians prefer to ride scooters. But in order to get a full tank, an Italian must work 13 hours and a Bulgarian 65 hours. This time, the difference of purchasing power is astounding. And what about a good pint of beer? Again, a pint can cost seven times more depending on where you are. It's a good thing that a pint only costs 85 cents in the Czech Republic as they are the biggest drinkers, 150 litres a year per person. The French, who prefer wine, only drink 35 litres. Understandable as a pint of French beer costs 5 euros 70 cents. But to earn their beer, a Czech must work 18 minutes, the French 45 minutes. It is the role of the European Cohesion Fund to close such inequalities by helping less privileged regions get back on track with 50 billion euros a year. The interior market also contributes to closing this gap by facilitating circulation and exchanges. Let's take the examples of Poland and Ukraine. In 1990, both countries were as wealthy, 1,230 euros per inhabitant per year. 20 years later, Ukrainians have a GDP per inhabitant of 2,600 euros, the Poles 9,700 euros. One of the reasons is because Poland entered the EU in 2004, but not the Ukraine. 